Happy Vlogmas Day 25. Merry Christmas. It is December 25th. You are watching this on December 26th. Ideally, if everything went smoothly with the vlog. <laughs> We are leaving in less than an hour for the airport. I don't feel prepared. I don't feel prepared at all. I feel like I'm forgetting a million things. I feel like none of my clothing fits me. I feel um, tired because I haven't slept very much. But I'm also excited to see my family, and I'm really hoping that there's going to be lots of downtime. I don't know if they have like things planned, like outings or anything, but counting on downtime. <laughs> because there has been no downtime for so long. So I have a feeling the minute I set foot uh, into the bedroom, put my head on the bed, I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna be dead to the world tired. Currently laying on the couch with my feet. With my feet up because my feet are swollen because I've been sitting and editing and streaming for the past however long. And I don't think going on a plane with already swollen feet is a good idea, so we're... We'll see. But I wanted to check in before we left the house. The quality of the rest of the vlog is gonna be different because I won't be using this camera. We'll be using our phones. Hopefully that's good enough. Also, Brandon, I think is gonna be editing this vlog. I'm gonna try to help, we'll see. But yeah, um, hi, Bran. Hi, editing Bran, how you doing? How's the hole? Okay, goodbye, hi. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be in Alberta or Next time you see me, I'll probably be at the airport. Bye. So we made it to the airport, but there's a pretty big lineup. And I have a bet currently with Brandon's dad that he'll be back to pick us up in two hours. And if he is, I owe him a vanilla latte. But it's to be determined. Yeah, the Calgary Hamilton Valley has not been pushed. And the... Uh, one hour. Oh, wait. Epping arrival is usually arriving. So our flight is 100 minutes delayed. And we're about to find out whether or not we're going to be spending the night in Victoria still. <laughs> so how long of a delay now? 100 minutes. Hello. How's it going? I don't want to talk about it. How many hours do we have? Uh, anyway, it is 7.30. We have been here four hours and I am so tired that all I've been doing is taking the travel pillow and smacking it right here and sleeping. Problem is, is that I make weird noises when I fall asleep. Yeah. Shut up. So yeah. now imagine I'm in an airport full of people but not like super full of people. So it's like quiet, but there are people everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Listen to me. I am well aware of the noises I make, which is why it just goes to show how tired I am that I'm willing to sleep in front of other people that I don't know. But yeah, I was snoring and, <sighs> but anyway, we should be boarding in half an hour or so. If you fall asleep, you fall asleep. No, but Brandon, there are people here. <laughs> I can't read you. Uh -huh. I felt that happen. I went, oh no, we can't. <laughs> Can you like cough over me? <laughs> How's it going? How's your flights? It's fine. I got a wrap. Ooh, missed the wrap. Is it my favorite wrap? Your favorite wrap? Yeah. Is it yours? I like it. Remember? Oh, remember? I didn't, know. I didn't think it was. Me I thought it was my favorite wrap. Brandon used to eat this, and he can't now because he's nerfed, and I, <laughs> I still can't, so he got one for me. Unfortunately, all he has is gluten-free pretzels for dinner, which is better than nothing. That's this my is, dinner. This is Brandon's dinner. Gluten-free. Gluten-free. So enjoy those. I will. I also have a ginger ale. Um, yes. We are here for... At least three hours, I think. Yep. Uh, we need to catch our flight. When we catch the flight. Now, what? will we make our flight when we land? A connecting flight? No. 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 Um, basically, the flight will have already been gone by the time that we land in Calgary. 
and the next flight that's available is not till tomorrow at like nine in the morning. So I called my mom and my mom said that my dad would drive to Calgary from Edmonton to pick us up and then either all three of us stay in a hotel or he drives us back. Apparently that's what he did for Samantha and her husband. So, but yeah, hi, hi from Victoria airport. You're going to get, you're going to get to edit this. It means you're going to get to be in the hole. You get to go make comments from the hole. So I'm rapping with my rap. Brandon is eating gluten-free pretzels for dinner. Buckle up. Hey. Hey, yep. I finally have a chance to record myself. Um, that was the worst flight that I've been on in a long time, including all the flights across the country and back in November, uh, in October. Um, there was a lot of turbulence and it just sent me over the edge. So now, say hi. Hello. Brandon's been very helpful, but I would like to go to sleep. Thank you. We made it. Yay. Let me just go here. Yeah, pull over to maybe see where we're going. Get, Airport Road Northeast. get us out of here. Thank you. Funny thing is, I'm not, we're not supposed to have our baggage apparently. Oh, yeah, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. It's supposed to be kept in the back and then sent to our final destination. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I don't trust you guys. Yeah, but then I decided to, you know, I'm going to check the carousel. Because I checked with the agents. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We made it to Calgary. Um, what temp do you look at? Like 65. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. I like it cold. Um, so here's our room. Thank you. Shout out to mom and dad for putting us up. We're in Calgary. So. It's better than having to sleep in the airport. This is where we're gonna edit this vlog. It's gonna be a very interesting thrown together vlog because it's 11 p.m. So, well, I'm gonna help. Yes. Yeah, okay. I made a mistake. I put, I thought it was only wrapped in the outside wrapping, but it has a condom on it. And now I have to try to get the sandwich out and it's hot and just I, it's like eating plastic now i can't oh hi this has been a day and i in no way intended for this vlog to be as negative as it turned out i've seen the rough cut that he did and it's different than my editing style but it is still pretty funny so hopefully you enjoyed it it's like two o'clock in the morning which for me is kind of that tracks is just kind of normal but for brandon that's pretty late i would like to say that despite both of us being very sore from an interesting travel day. And despite today not really feeling like Christmas, I'm not going to lie to you. It, like, there, you know, Brandon ate pretzels for dinner. Like, I, it didn't really feel like Christmas Day to us. I'm very happy to be in Calgary 
in Alberta at least and tomorrow we'll be in Edmonton and I'll get to see the rest of my family and I got to see my dad and this wasn't the plan we're making do we're making it work I'm very grateful that mom and dad got a hotel for us to be able to stay in and I'm just happy I'll be able to spend some of the holidays with my family so yeah while I was watching the clips back I was like wow these are kind of negative but th honestly that was our experience it, it, we're not gonna sugarcoat anything for you it was a very rough day for the two of us I, I might do a specific YouTube video about what it's like flying in a body like mine but since I've gained weight over the past year or so I don't really fit places the way that I used to and flying on a plane with little seats like that was uncomfortable, yeah, but I can put up with uncomfortable. It was the claustrophobia part that was really getting to me. Like, I felt like I was just being buried alive, <laughs> so it was really tough. It was difficult, but luckily it was a short hour and a half flight. It could have gone worse. And now we just get to look forward to driving to Edmonton tomorrow and getting to see the rest of the family. Merry Christmas from Brandon and I and my dad, who's in his own room across the hallway. <laughs> this was an interesting Christmas. Let us know what you think in the comments. Do you like Brandon's editing style? Do you notice anything different about the way that he edits? I think it's kind of funny to see the differences. Okay, I'm going to go help him with editing the rest of this vlog and, and adding in a couple things here and there, cutting out a few things. But I wanted to say good night. I wanted to say thank you for watching. I wanted to say thank you for all the support you've shown. Also, please take care of yourself. This time of year is stressful. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Tomorrow we'll have some more interesting stuff to show you. We're going to be driving for at least a few hours on the road. And then I'll get to see my sisters and my uncle and my mom and my nan. But I gotta go lie on the bed for a minute and pretend that I'm dead. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please take care of yourself. Please like uh, this video and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not yet. We are 17 subscribers away from 200. We were very close and I'm really excited about that. So thank you for everybody who's been watching too and contributing to the watch hours. It helps a lot. See you.